Hello, my name is Bishop Mary of the Diocese of Montreal. Welcome to my new video series called Moments with Bishop Mary. This coming weekend, we're celebrating Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost comes 50 days after Easter. It comes one week after we celebrate Ascension, the Ascension of Jesus. When Jesus led his disciples out of Jerusalem to the Mount of Olives where he blessed them and then disappeared from their sight. Our creed says he ascended into heaven. Before he disappeared from their sight, he told them to go back to Jerusalem and to wait for the Holy Spirit, which the Father was going to send. And so the disciples went back rejoicing and they stayed together, probably in one room, worshiping and praying and waiting, not knowing when that moment would be. Not that they would wait a week, but that they would wait until the Holy Spirit, or whatever it was, would come to them. And so on the day of Pentecost, which means 50, 50 days after uh, Passover and also after Easter, suddenly there was a sound of rushing wind and the room was filled with a mighty sound. You'll hear about it in the Acts of the Apostles as they describe what happened to them. What happened changed their lives and changed their ministries and gave them new vision for what God wanted to accomplish with what they had learned from Jesus through his life, his miracles, his death and his resurrection. I was 15 and a half when I invited God to fill me with his Holy Spirit and my life was changed. Jesus stood up at the Feast of the Tabernacles when he was in Jerusalem where they would pour water into the t altar and out of it would flow streams of water. And he said, if anyone here is thirsty, let them come to me and drink because out of the belly of the believer will flow streams of living water. I have a show and tell with me today and that is the mitre from a little teddy bear I have from the Anglican Foundation, a hope bear. And I thought I'd show you that bishops wear mitres because the idea is that a mitre is a kind of a funnel of the Holy Spirit. So that when bishops pray for you, conf confirmation, ordination, whatever, and they have their mitre on, there's something about the Holy Spirit being funneled out of them into you. You don't need a mitre to do that. Any believer, Jesus says, any believer who comes to him and drinks, out of them will flow rivers of living water. And that is to change the world. God bless you.